sorry folks, I got cut off. I didn't erase one of my uh, videos. Um, you know, what we were talking about is controlling your knife. And a lot of it's how you handle your knife, like doing the position that I'm doing here with pivoting your knife and rocking it back and forth and having a good grip on your good grip on your your knife to start with and then when you draw it to yourself you're using this as a stop point so it's very important when you do when you work on these things you know you want to get in the habit of using this thumb as a pivot point because really it's a wonderful see how easy that is it's it's a much easier way to control it and it will become second nature to you okay so those are the two types of controlling your knife it's this way towards your thumb and this way you never take it and push with your full strength of your arm that's a no-no that's when you end up really injuring yourself uh, very severely doing that so that's just a couple of things so what I want you to do is take all this out okay until you have this tail just sitting here like this we're not going to round it or anything yet and then the other thing I want you to do um, it's we are going to cut out this neck a little bit so what we're going to do is we're going to put another stop cut and be careful when you do your stop cuts don't put all your pressure you can use your other thumb to do the do it as well to push it in there okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to just take bits and pieces out okay we're just going to take you may want to use your detail knife as you go in further um, if you look on this uh, we're going in straight we're going to curve it into the back of the ears so a lot of this has to come off yet here we need to round we need it this thick to round it off at the top okay so we really do have a good reference um, point here so what we want to do is we want to take out the tail you know make it smaller and then on either side of our dog here we're going just to scoop this out a little bit at a time and do another little stop cut see how I did that that one flying that's why you need your your carving glove on folks I didn't put a lot of pressure on that but uh, you know you do a little bit at a time use common sense when you use your knives and uh, you know you'll have a very enjoyable experience carving see how I'm using my my thumb as a pivot point and then going back and recutting it that's another way you can do a stop cut is just shave it up a little bit like that and then go back where you need to cut it and just cut it out so there's a couple of different ways so we're going to cut this out probably like this okay that's all going to come out just like that and let's see how deep that is we can measure it like this go around here and we're going to measure this here and we might go back and do it again but this is just basically roughing it up out a little bit and then don't forget you got to get use your, your detail knife sometimes to get underneath there just like that see how I got in there okay so that's a lot of what we're gonna do so take care of that and take care of the tail and we'll be back bye bye